Kalesters, yes, we're doing another deep dive on a trainer gallery. We're going to be talking about some of the cards that I think have a lot of room to move, both raw and PSA 10. And a lot of these are going to be cards that people aren't really talking about from the set. So you're going to want to stay till the end so you can see all of them. But let's just jump in right off the bat. Let's just take a brief overview of this is the Lost Origin trainer gallery. Now, Lost Origin obviously has been popping off. The boxes have been going crazy and everything, but I wanted to talk to you guys about a few cards. Let's just look at this uh, from like an analytical standpoint. We're just talking about artworks. Obviously, the uh, top two cards are these Pikachu uh, cards at 46 and 30 bucks. They're great looking cards. Um, if you start to look, once you get down here, um, I know a lot of people have been talking about this Gengar, but as you guys have said in, in some of the comments and some of my other videos, a lot of people don't like the yellow border, so we're going to kind of be avoiding that uh, in this video. And there, I think there, there is some room on some of these other cards once we start looking at um, some of the artworks, and I think that this trainer gallery is really good. So let's just do, first off, let's just jump in on this Pikachu, as you can see right here. So... The reason I bring this up is because this style of card currently isn't really being made anymore. And this card, this picture does not do this card justice. It does look a lot better in person. Okay. Now we have seen a little bit of a move back up, you know, on this card, but it's still, you know, five, six dollars. You can see sales right here. And I think that the the Chonkachu, the the chunkier style of Pikachu because the other one from Vivid Voltage, the rainbow, is like so expensive. And then the one from uh, the other trainer gallery from this set is so expensive. But like, check this out. You guys can get this, and you can see how much better the texture looks in this picture. If you want to pick this up in a PSA 10, 40 bucks right now. Um, I, I don't think you can go wrong with this, honestly. Like, this is a great looking card, guys. So I just wanted to, like, long term. So say, let's say Lost Origin is um, 400 a box because that's very possible, very doable. It's going to happen eventually, right? You're telling me that this card in a 10 is not going to be worth more than 40? It's going to be worth way more than 40, okay? Now, a lesser known Pokemon here. This is the Crobat V, but I just, I like all the trainer cards. I just think that they're all cool. This is a really great looking one, obviously. So right now, if you want to pick this up um, raw, uh, you're looking at sales, you know, three, four bucks, right? Uh, which is totally fine. If you want to pick some up, pick up some copies, but if you're also looking for in a PSA 10, this is currently on eBay as of this recording. You can pick this one up for 45 bucks. So same thing. Try and envision down the road if you're thinking long term. If this is a 400 comes out of a $400 box, do you think that this will only be $45 in a 10? Evolution of a Gen 1 Pokemon. I think that this, there's going to be room on this. I, this could be uh, 80 or more. I don't see why not. So. Just another option for you guys. We got we got some more for you. Like, so this. Now this card, obviously this guy. I can't remember this guy's name, but he's in the game. Obviously, if you have played the game, you know who he is. Um, sorry, I'm blanking on his name, but he's like the yeah. Anyways, not important. But artwork with a cool trainer, right? And like, look at this. This card's looking good. So once again, just look at the price here. You're picking this up. Last one of these last ones was near mint for dollar twenty-eight, so we'll call it between one and two dollars, okay? And great looking card, great artwork. I think that obviously this card has room to go. This is more of the long term. Not, I don't expect these cards to like quickly come up in value. But if you want to pick this card up in a ten, thirty-one bucks. All right, you guys got to remember that most of the time, uh, depending on the specials, if you don't have a special going and you don't have the membership costs at least 20 bucks to grade so and this is 31 bucks for 10 okay so next up now i'm going to explain so this is kabu he's one of the gym leaders from sword and shield once again if you haven't played the game he's also featured in the new anime uh the horizons which i know maybe a lot of you guys haven't watched it's on netflix first full season in english now um, so cheap card two bucks right we got sales right here two bucks a card but he was kind of a cool character. He was prominently featured in the show. I don't think sent, you know sent to Scorch as a Pokemon is the most popular. But artwork-wise, this card looks great. Okay. Then you hop over here and you go, oh yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind picking up a PSA 10 uh, of this, you know, nice trainer gallery. Thirty bucks. 
same thing. If this is a $400 box or higher, right? How is this $30 and a 10? So that's where I'm saying that these are lesser known plays, but they have potential upside in both raw and graded. So I'm just talk I'm just trying to talk about some cards that people aren't talking about. I know we're going back to Sword and Shield. A lot of you guys have been enjoying Scarlet and Violet, and we'll do more. I got more Scarlet and Violet stuff coming, but I just wanted to touch on some more. So here's another one. I like this card as well. Same thing. Same trainer, same Pokemon, right? I, I like how giant the Pokemon looks, and he's he. Uh, if you haven't played the games, haven't watched the anime, he's always running. So um, he's running on the Scent of Scorch, which I think is cool. Uh, this card ha does have some more value, like although one of the last near mint sales was two bucks. You're looking at you can see near mint sales here between two and four bucks so same thing I, th I think that this card has uh potential upside both raw and grade now if you look at here same thing you guys want to pick this up already in a 10 i don't think you guys can go wrong 40 bucks okay i i see i see upside for this card as well all every single card in here right then uh this pokemon's not as as popular or beetle obviously but when you start just to look at the artwork and everything going on with this uh card the great look you look you got a mill tank flying in the background like this card's awesome uh and, and the pokemon you know he looks cool he looks cool enough and i just like the trainer and the, i like when the trainers are flying and it's just i don't know it's a little chaotic but it's like it's nicely done this uh this artwork really gets me so if i like it other people might like it right so uh up, upside on this card as well same story you're looking in the four buck range right so raw or graded but if you want to pick this up graded this one is a little bit more expensive currently you might be able to pick this up for cheaper you know um there's another one down here for 65 so 58 obo but once again this artwork is maybe a little bit better than some of the other ones so uh keep that in mind so same thing i, I think that this card has has room to run uh then i want to talk about Gallade. so if you guys aren't familiar, this is like another evolution of Curlia. So it's like uh, instead of Gardevoir, you could get Gallade. So not as popular as Gardevoir, but you can see the similarities here, right? And this card's pretty cool. I like the trainer. The trainer's looking pretty cool there back to back. So just great artwork, great Pokemon, right? Prices are real cheap, like two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, like all day. So, uh, raw or in a 10 uh i think that there's upside here i mean like, let's look a look at some of these charts if you want to go out like a year so this card has been more expensive in the past it's been cheaper as well but uh you can pick this card up for two bucks or if you want to look at it in a 10 it's a little bit more expensive it's not quite in that 30 dollar range but 50 bucks for a 10 uh, once again I don't think if you're thinking long term, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these plays. I think these are sort of no brainers. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, these are for everyone, you know. So just be smart about your time frame. These aren't quick flips by any means, but I just wanted to give you guys another option, for just for some different cards that I think a lot of, excuse me, a lot of creators aren't talking about. I'm just trying to be a little different and just doing a trainer gallery deep dive and once you really just start looking you see a lot of great cards and I, I you know you start appreciating more so that also is something that happens once uh once these cards start to rise in value a lot of the other ones you start looking for cheaper alternatives and here we are you know looking at these cards so great looking cards let me know what you guys think uh leave a comment below let me, let me know what you think of these cards and if you made it this far in the video you are obviously enjoyed the content enough so make sure you subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one and remember it was never a phase